Hello everybody, name is Herbert Kedd and I'm going to explain you how to use both command line interface and graphical user interface from Anonsurf, which is the privacy toolkit for Parrot Security OS. Let's go! So if you are, have already installed Anonsurf on any version, um, you just write Anonsurf and then you'll see which version you have. In this case, I have the latest working version, which is linked on the description from this video. 3.0.5. So we can start, stop, restore, change ID, see the status, see the IP, set a status boot, set enable boot, set disable boot for Anonsurf. If you want more information about what Anosurf is or um, um, more commands to use with it, you just write the prefix. I'm oh, sorry. Man, Anosurf, and you'll see more information about it. In this case, we are going to check if Anosurf is already working. So, um, as I did before, I write Anonsurf, Anonsurf status to see if Anonsurf is already running. Is not running in this case. So, which is the difference we, between using your normal YSP and Anonsurf? Well, uh, basically, when you are using your YSP, you are um, limited to the directions or DNS uh, that your YSP allows you. In the case of using the Tor network, you have no limitations at all. Most of the people use this to browse um, on the, um, inside the dark web or deep web. Uh, but actually the Tor network just allows you to see any content that is hidden from the clear net, which is the internet. The normal um, way to browse that allows you your IYSP. So we are going to activate Anonsurf and we are going to tell it that um, it activates itself on every boot from the system. So Anonsurf start and it's going to ask you if you want to close a dangerous application. So if you have any program that is already using your YSP's internet, this program is going to close. And especially the browser is going to be affected in this way. As you see, um, I have to write my root password. Do not run and serve as root. Do not run and serve as root. That's stupid. If you write down your root password, and on surf um, is going to close these dangerous applications and then is going to execute a very powerful tool which is Bleachbeat that is going to clean up all your trashy, catchy and uh, cookies. So um, all that behavior from your browsing on your normal YSP is going to be removed for a new behavior. Then um, we are going to check if Anonsurf is already running. So Anonsurf as status and as you see shows a different output. It's going to show your Nix um, server that is going to analyze your traffic to the Tor network. We are going to execute again the browser and let's see. Um, as I say, um, Anonsurf allows you to browse using the Tor network. This connection is slower than your normal connection, so you have to get used to not a so speedy connection as with your normal YSP. So as we see, Anonsurf is already running and up. Now we want to check our Tor IP. So we do this. Uh, I'm just writing down Anonsurf again so you can see the commands. So Anonsurf my IP. 
and this is going to check my IP from the server using the Tor network. This, that is my um, IP from the Tor network. What I'm going to do now is to change my ID to see the change in that IP. And serve change ID. Now we got a new, uh, different um, ID. So we are going to check that again. As you see, it's getting information from the server and effectively the IP is different. Um, so we are going to enable and serve so execute itself on every boot from the computer. So we just write and serve enable boot and it's going to ask for the password and everything is set up. So we are going to check the graphical user interface from Anonsurf. We are not going to close anything from this. Um, just write Anonsurf and we got the graphical user interface which is a very small window but very functional. So as you see Anonsurf is running. If I stop the service, it's going to ask for my root password again and it's going to ask me to close the dangerous application and clean up my kitchen and cookies and trashy information for, from my um, browsing behavior using the Tor um, connection. So um, we see the details and as we see here, Anosurf is actually activated on Artbot. So we can disable this by just pressing the button. It's really easy. You see the change here. You can go back. So we start and surf and it's going to close in your applications. It's going to clean up my trash information and it's actually running. You can see the details on the Nix server as you do by using the command line interface. You can change your identity. Let's check our IP. It's going to get information from the server. And uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Yep, uh, we got this IP from the Tor network. Now let's change our identity and check the IP again to see if successfully changed. Yep, it changed. Well, this is Anosurf, a very powerful tool to browse the internet uh, with um, safety, with privacy. Um, you can contribute for, uh, to the project and be part of it. Please subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, just leave your comments, leave your like. Thank you very much. Rose the way.